you welcome back. We are going to start with Grobaus. Grobaus, uh, super Grobau, okay? PHP Grobau. Uh, the uh, uh, Grobau is used to assess a global variable from anywhere in your PHP script. Okay, you know, uh, if, you, uh, we, uh, if you create a global variable and you have a function, uh, if you want to assess that global variable in a function, you can just ordinarily assess it. Okay, for you to assess that particular global variable in a function, you have to use globals. Okay, and that is what we are going to do right now. First of all, we are going to start by creating the variables, global variable. Please, if you have forgotten about global variable, please, I will, uh, I will have to refer you to the, the tutorial on global variable so you remember, okay? Okay, but I have to just know that, but some really just know that a global uh, variable is a variable uh, that, uh, that is not within a function. Okay, it is not, it's not within a function. It can be assessed anywhere in a code okay but it can be assessed within a function okay it can be assessed within a function or a class unless i uh, use global variable to do that okay like uh, unless you use grow super global okay to assess it just go to my tutorial previously look at the tutorial to get it in full okay all right yeah um let me just create a global variable uh, let's just say number one variable number one is equals to let's say 200 okay i'll create another variable number two equals to 300 okay then i'll create a function function i'll call it addition okay then you open curly bracket then within this function right now if i want to assess any of this variable in a function i have to um use globals to do that okay so first let, let me just do that quickly to assess the group the variable right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to then let me just make a calculation with the variable. I'll just create a group, a new global variable. I just say global. I'll use global right now, globals. Okay. Then you create an index. You know, so, uh, global stores a various sup globals, global super vari super globals, which is this stores all global variables in index just within this index you get that good so I, I, I will have to enter the variable i want to assess in this there uh, index okay i just ent i will i will first of all put quotes within the quote now i will copy the i will just copy this one enter it here So you see, I've called this variable. I've been able to use these globals to assess this uh, variable. You get that? If you want to know, let me just call before I do the calculation I want to do with it. Let's just echo this. Let's see if we got it right. Let's echo. Okay, let's echo it this way. Okay, let's just say echo echo okay good then i will now call the function outside you come outside and call addition function you know that's for for a function to work you have to call it so i'll call the addition function good now let's say let's see what we're going to get okay let me see what happened there's a mistake somewhere let's see okay okay there's a mistake here uh 
we are not going to there's no need to put a uh, this as in dollar sign all we need to call is the name of the variable the name no dollar sign okay just the name of the variable it will get this okay so with this now let's try this again let's see if we can get to 200 you know we just assess 200 let's try it again let's come here click here do you see we got 200 okay this is just to tell you that with globals with this super globals you can assess global variable even within a function okay having done that so the next thing i'm going to do is now is that i'm going to uh sum up two variable and assign it to another global variable okay so this is what i'm going to do now i'm going to say i'm going to create another global variable or just say super global globals then the, in the index i will just call it let's say sum let me just call it oh, sorry okay i'll call it sum sum good then assign it to assign it to global variable one then i'll add i will just add sorry i will add global variable okay i will add this to i'll copy and add it inside here yes now what what we are actually doing right now is that we are um we are assessing this number one which is 200 here and then this number two which is 300 here we are adding both together and assigning it to this new variable you get that so that is exactly what we did here okay good now if i decide to if i decide to call this number this one you see what we're going to get if i decide to call this sum variable you see what we're going to get let's do it remember that we use global super globals here to assess the global variable you know otherwise this global variable can be assessed within a function but with the help of this you can assess it in a function and use it in a function so whenever you want to use a global variable in a function you can use this globals to make that possible you get that good and you see that now i use i use it within this function to get this done okay so if i echo this let's see if i echo this you see we get 500 okay 500 which is the summation of this and this you get that we sum them up we assign the summation to this okay then we'll call this function to execute this i believe this made sense thank you very much okay and one more thing please you can also decide and uh, not to echo this in a function Yes, I, as I was saying, you can also decide to remove this echo here. In, instead of echoing it within the function, you can just call the function without the echo. Then you come down here. You know, this is a, 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 a variable you created. Just this variable, echo the variable outside here. 
just some variable. No, why echoing? You are going to add dollar sign, but if it is within the, this group, I was, it's, it, I mean, it doesn't go with dollar sign. You get that? Okay. So you call the variable, just call the function, then you call the variable, and you see, you, you are still going to get the same result. Let's see what we are going to get right now. Let's check what we are going to get. See, we get the same result, 500. So either way, it works. Thank you.